Hey guys, I wanted to show you my latest pickup. It's a SCSI hard drive made by IDS Pro. I picked it up a few days ago for $20. It actually came with the Sandwich 2 SCSI card and all the cables to connect them, so quite a good deal. As you can see, it's 40 megabytes. And uh, let me just pull it on the back here. And if you can see this, uh, this is where all the cables go in. So this cable connects to the SCSI card. This one right next to it actually connects into one of my 3.5 floppy disk drives, and that's actually what powers it. So you don't need to plug it into the wall or anything like that. You just need to have one of the drives plugged in. So much to my surprise, the hard drive is still working. It still spins, although it's a little temperamental. And it was already partitioned and has all the contents from the original owner, which was pretty cool. And I actually didn't buy this from the original owner. I bought it from some people that had just moved into this home. And up in the attic was this 2GS sitting there, probably for a couple decades. And so I bought the SCSI hard drive from them. And uh, in the first partition, it's mostly just you know system files, you know, nothing special. It's got uh, SoundSmith in there. And, and the SCSI utilities folder has all the files you would need to set it up and partition it. It's got the drivers and some desk accessories, and so I actually copied over all the drivers to my micro drive, and that's how I'm able to access this from my, you know, original hard drive. And in the second partition, that's where all the, you know, all the goodies are. And so, you know, first I went into the graphics folder, and I was pretty shocked when I opened this first one up here, and I'm seeing all these porno pictures. Uh, let me look at some of these titles. You got Blowjob One Two Three. And yes, even a Jessica Rabbit nude picture, which is just weird. <laughs> and uh, going down, also, this is pretty funny. You got Troy from uh, Star Trek, The Next Generation. So pretty funny stuff. But the, he did have pictures on here that were um, not of the pornographic nature. And so I can actually show you those on YouTube. So let me just open some of them up. Some pretty, pretty good uh, 3200 color high graphic pictures. They got this Apollo picture, and then I'll just open uh, another one for you. So pretty, pretty good detail. I hadn't seen these pictures before, so. So let's see what else is on this thing. So wait for it to load. So, in addition to some pictures, he also had some pretty cool animations. And uh, let me just play a few of them for you. So, let me play this Chasers one. And again, I had never seen these before. I'm sure they're, you know, maybe widely known in the, in, in the 2GS uh, network, but I hadn't seen them before. And then let me play the Tron animation for you. And unfortunately I can't play the other animation because it's a pornographic one, so... I'll go ahead and close this at this point. And then he had a bunch of Star Trek pictures. And I had seen some of these before. I've seen them on uh, different sites. And then in the games folder, uh, mostly games I've ever, already played before. Uh, nothing too special. Um, it's got, you know, Thexter and the Star Trek original, or the Star Trek classic, rather, game. And uh, Q-Bird I hadn't played before. I hadn't played the 2GS version. And so I did look at that. And uh, pretty cool. I mean, you know, pretty simple stuff. If I remember the controls. And he had a bunch of games like this, just, you know, shareware games. He actually had a, a Pac-Man game that 
um, I could access as one of a one of the desk accessories. So that was pretty neat. So just a really small window that pops up, so you can have that playing while you're, you know, listening to music or writing something in uh, one of the Word documents that you have. And speaking of which, uh, in the Word documents, you got WordPerfect and some other programs and just a bunch of old files, uh, mostly college papers and some random stuff. He's ha he has some journal entries. And he had a few demos. Nothing too special. I'll play one of them for you. And then in the archive folder, he had uh, shrink it and some stuff that he's archived before. And uh, I actually saw these different movie files. I was pretty intrigued by that. And so I extracted those files out. And now uh, let me play one of them for you. Now these are nothing special, they're in black and white and they're only a few seconds long, but still pretty impressive considering you know this is a 1986 machine we're talking about here. Watch the birdie! Jeez, I crack myself up. Jeez, I crack myself up. 